hello it's Diane and welcome back to my channel if you've been before and if not welcome well here I share my love of sewing and today I thought I'd do a short video and it's on hemming jeans now I thought this might be something people are interested in because we all wear jeans well most of us do and quite often they're not the right length now I've got a little job here for a relative that I'm doing so I thought I'd share it with you and show you how I go about it so first of all, here are my jeans. Well, they're not my jeans. Like I said, they belong to a family member and I've already pinned them at the right point. So here is the leg that I've pinned up, as you can see. So I got my relative to try them on and then I turn them under and I pin them just on one leg. Now you don't need to do both legs because you're going to measure it after. So you pin one leg up and then what you do is this finished point here where it folds, you put your pins around that point in the bottom. That way you know that that is going to be your finished length. Don't take those out, leave those in. When you've done that, you can fold it down and you have all your pins in a row like this, if you can see them there. So that's the first step. So you've got that line. Then you're going to lay it on top of your other leg and you're going to measure it with your tape measure and make sure that they're both the same. So you've got your line of pins. Now we have our finished line. That's where we're going to turn it under. So the next step, I'm going to bring you over to the table to show you. Now here, because we've got quite a bit, as you can see, that needs to come off the bottom of these, I can just cut this away and I will have enough, you might want to do it singular, it's quite thick, I will have enough there to recreate that hem. If you're not taking it up by very much at all, you're going to need to unpick this with your unpicker and your scissors, because you won't have enough to be able to just cut it off. If it's quite a lot, like a few inches or something, you can just cut that bit off. When you have that cut away, you can now do a double fold like this. And you want your fold line to finish where those pins are. So here I have enough to turn it up once and turn it up again. And then I can move my pin to there, look. So the same all the way around, turn it up, turn it up again and then move my pins as I go. This is where I'm going to do my stitching line and I'm going to try and use a similar colour to the stitching here so I have a sort of bronze colour. You can get specific jeans threads but you can just use one that's the, a similar colour. I'll show you what I'm using. It's not an expensive one. It's just one for an overlock really. So do that on both legs. Now when you've got it pinned the whole way around what you do find is this point here where all these seams meet is really tough. Now you are going to be using a denim needle or a jeans needle so you'll need to change to one of those because it needs to be thick enough. So a denim, a jeans needle, or if you use a universal needle about a hundred but it's better if you buy the correct ones especially if you're going to be working with denim or jeans. So you need to change that up in your machine but before you do it what I've found is if you put a piece of wood behind, and I do this on a stable surface like the floor. I'm not going to do it on this bench because it's just not sturdy enough. I do it on the floor. I'm just showing you. So you need to put a piece of wood behind it, and then if you hit it with a hammer, and I'm going to do that on the floor. I'm not just going to do it here like this. And you really soften it up. It makes it so much easier for the needle to go through just at these points. So at this side. And the other side, if you do that where all the seams meet, it will sort of soften up your material. So that's a good tip. Now I have my thread on. Now you can see it's just an, an overlocking cotton and an expensive one in a similar bronze colour. I've got my jeans needle in. And I'm just sewing it on the double fold from the inside. Take my pins out as I go. Now 
have softened this part here that I mentioned with the hammer but I'm still going to walk it over because we don't want to break the needle. Get to here and I'll slow down and just walk it through. Because you have a couple of really thick seams there and this is a heavy duty machine this one. It's not heavy duty in the sense that I used to work on an industrial machine, they were really heavy duty but it is heavier than a lot of machines but I still need to walk it over on heavy parts like that. So there we have the finished hem, now I'm going to do the other side. Now some people do like to distress it a bit um, but this is sort of the snow washed denim, I think that's what they used to call it, it seems to have come back in fashion and it's already got quite a lot of going on in it, sort of texture wise. But if you did want to distress it a bit around the bottom, you can do that with a file. Like some jeans have those lines going down. But do bear in mind that you are wearing your denim then and they're more likely to fray. So that just needs a good press. So that was just a quick tip today. I hope that was useful. Please let me know if there's anything else you want to see. Thank you if you've already subscribed. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and maybe leave a comment and I'll be back soon with some more tips. Bye for now.